It is 8 a.m. on a Saturday and I'm just going to have a little self-care day. It's still pretty wet out there. So I always like to eat a little something before my workout and this super porridge by Chroma is so good. It has a really yummy blend of all these really good superfoods. It tastes like a nutty cream of wheat. Are you hungry? gets the bougie food since he's so picky. Before anyone comes for me, the trainer told us to feed him in his crates because Charlie gets a little bit territorial. It's 9 a.m. so I got a post on Instagram. This one piece by Set Active. It's like my new favorite outfit for Pilates. It just fits so well. Like look how good it fits. I love this for lounging too. All I put on is a lightweight sunscreen but for Pilates. I'm going to wash my face when I get back. I'm going to be in a car and UV rays can penetrate car windows. So I'm going to do whatever I can to protect my skin. This one's so lightweight. I love it, but it kind of gives a little bit of a glow, but not too much. You can find it at the drugstore. And also all the products that I use, I check on websites like Acne Clinic, NYC.org, and ClearStem.com. They have a pore clogger checker, so you can put the ingredients of your products in there and kind of see if there's any potential pore cloggers. And all of the ones that I use pass the test. This one obviously passed the test. I spent hundreds of hours putting together a full master list of products that passed, that didn't pass mainly consisting of products that are the most popular right now. If you guys want access to that list, I have it available in the description below. Just got back from my workout and I immediately take some amino acids to help with some muscle building. This is my mom's old Vitamix. I want to say it's like 15 years old. So one thing about Vitamixes is they last forever. It still works great. Strawberry peach daily harvest is one of my favorites. Protein powder. I use a pretty simple protein powder with pea protein. Whey protein is a trigger for my acne, so I don't use whey protein powder anymore. So I just use something with like pea protein. Simple and I like this one. It's vanilla flavored. I like to add a shit ton of spinach because sometimes it's hard to get all my greens in for the day. You really can't taste it. Also, I try to get in some omegas every day. And this supplement by Symbiotica. Symbiotica has amazing supplements, like really great quality. And I love their omega supplement. Every day, I'll do 12 pumps under my tongue. And it tastes pretty good. It's like an oil. I usually finish this before I shower. I think it tastes good. The protein kind of has a proteiny taste, but I have it every day and I like it. For our morning time routine, starting with the clear stem cell renew, this is like super hydrating. It's really great if you're trying to heal post acne marks or you just kind of want to help restore your barrier. I love clear stem. All of their products are really catered to those with acne prone skin, so I definitely recommend them. I really want to start taking cold showers every morning because it's just so good for your health. You almost get this like dopamine hit without caffeine, and I love it. But today, Austin really had to talk me through it because. It is so hard for me. I love a hot shower, so cold is just a whole new level. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross oil-free vitamin C moisturizer. And I love this because I always have a vitamin C in the morning, but because the vitamin C is in the moisturizer, I don't have to have a separate vitamin C step. It's very lightweight, so when my skin is on the drier side, I probably would go with something a little bit heavier, but it does pretty well, in my opinion. If you're outside, there's a lot of free radicals and vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps fight free radicals and damaging effects it has on our skin. So in combination with an SPF, it just is amazing. Going in with the L to MD UV elements, all the skincare I use doesn't have any pore cloggers. I really like this one because it's slightly tinted and gives a little bit of coverage, but it does lean a little bit on the warm side when it comes to undertones, and I am definitely a cool undertone, so I'll show you a little trick that I use to bring in more of a cool undertone when products are a little bit too warm. 
So I take a blue color corrector and I just put this all over and it's going to look crazy at first. And then you can do this with your hands or a brush. Blend it out, be patient. And now it completely cooled down that warmth and it looks like my real skin. But there's a little bit of coverage. If you have skin that's on the warmer side and you have a product that is too cool, you can use an orange color corrector and that'll give that same effect with kind of balancing it out. So I love that trick. And this is the e.l.f. color corrector. Has no pore cloggers. Having this for lunch. Austin gets these trifecta meals. What do you think? Pretty bad. <laughs> They're okay. They're healthy. Looks gross, but it actually tastes pretty good. I'm loving this dress. I just rented from Newly, and I'm going to try it on and then do my makeup. This was literally so hard to get on, but it's cute. In the back. I love renting clothes. It just makes life so much easier. I get so bored so easily. I'm gonna do quick light makeup. I love starting with this e.l.f. color corrector. It's the peach tone. So peach helps offset any dark circles that you have. So I just put a little bit where I have dark circles and then buff it in. With this, I do not need to use as much concealer. Now putting on Say Glowy Super Gel. This is in shade Star Glow. And I like to put it on my cheeks and my nose. This just gives you immediate glass skin. If you don't like that super shimmery type of glow, this gives you like your skin but better glow. Look at that. Look at that. Now going in with a little bit of concealer. Maybelline Instant Rewind. This is in the shade 95. It's a little bit light but I like that because it really just brightens. Again, I'm just putting a little bit right there because the less you use, the less creasing you'll get. I'm huge into fluffy brushes, blending everything out. I find that beauty blenders just hold a lot of bacteria and they're like porous, like a sponge. So it's so much harder to properly clean a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll use beauty blenders, but I'll use them a few times and then throw them out and then buy a new one. Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This stuff is amazing and I really don't like to use a lot. But it definitely works for cool toned skin. It's not too orangey. I'm gonna take some on my fingers. Do that just to contour the nose a little bit. Fluffy brush and work it in. This is like one of my favorite bronzers just because it blends in so well. So you can't really mess up with it. I'm just gonna bring whatever I left over. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in shade Bliss. Their blushes are very pigmented, but this one is a little lighter. So I feel like you can't really mess up with this color. I feel like shade Happy, which a lot of people like, is so pigmented that you really can go overboard on accident. This one, like look how much more natural that is. My lips are kind of dry, so I'm just going to put some of this nipple and lip cream. This is by Hatch Mama. Apparently nipple cream also works on the lips. I guess the skin is similar. I'm just taking the leftover concealer, priming my lid. This is the Stone Cold Fox palette by ColourPop. It's so stunning if you have cool toned skin. This is like every shade you could possibly want in one palette. It's amazing. I'm just gonna start with this lighter shade right here. Taking a flathead brush, I'm taking that darker brown and working it underneath. And then I'm taking that other side with the lighter color and just buffing it out. And then I'm gonna take a shimmer, this color brow power in shade taupe. If you have brown hair and cool toned skin, I find taupe just really works for pretty much all of my eyebrow looks. Curling my eyelashes. If you do not have the Shiseido eyelash curler, you're missing out. Truly is life changing. I thought I did not have eyelashes until I use this and then I was like, oh, I've just been curling my eyelashes all wrong. Okay, I'm using this Ilia mascara sample. I have the full size, but it started to dry out because I've had it for a while. So I got this sample in my last Sephora order. This mascara is just the best. I really want my eyelashes to grow longer. So I just bought Grande Lash from Sephora. And I've heard a lot of people say that they have good results from it. I haven't started using it yet. I definitely love this mascara. It works really good. Wiping off the nipple cream. <laughs> it's gonna go in with some lip pencil. LYS. This is one of the only lip pencils I checked on Sephora that didn't have any pore cloggers. And I'm super prone to like little pimples around my mouth from my, my lip products. So I was like, this might help with that problem since I do kind of overline my lips. I'm going to start with the shade Driven. I dissolved my lip filler a few weeks ago and it's been so weird to put on lip products. Part of me just wants to go get lip filler again, but I don't know. 
This is the Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in shade 20. This is one of my favorite lip glosses because it like stays a long time and it's not drying. It's like a very creamy. I just love the way it looks. A light powder set with the Hostess Cloud Set in shade Breezy. And this is just like the perfect light set all over. It's not going to completely mattify your face. It'll kind of still leave some of that glow. It keeps everything in place and blurs your pores. And I just love it for like those no makeup days, even though I'm definitely wearing makeup, but no foundation days. I don't even think I want to do my hair. I'm kind of feeling leaving it like this. I'm cooking dinner right now and I'm trying one of these green chef recipes. It's the roasted curry pork chop and it looks pretty good. Not gonna lie though, these Green Chef meals I thought would be like easier and save me time, but they take a lot of work. <laughs> like a lot of pans, a lot of cleanup. Everything tastes really good. I just don't know if it's saving me any time. And I know their first month has some deals, so it's worth trying it out. Meat man. Honestly, it looks fire. 